You're a smart, ambitious woman. You serve those around you and take care of so many. But money has always been a little too tight. And you never seem to have enough time. I'm Amy Robles. I coach women just like you to start and run their own business, take care of the priorities, and get the zest back in their lives. Hold your head high, girl. You can earn your income, be there for your loved ones, and do something that makes you deliciously happy along the way. The gift you bring to the world is a happier, more fulfilled you. You're here because you believe like I do. You're here because you think enriched. Hey, welcome to The Enriched. It's me, Amy Robles. Look, it's a crazy week at our house. It's Cinco de Mayo. We've got my daughter's birthday. We've got so much fun going on. And I'm so excited for this episode because it's perfectly timely with all the fun, wonderful things that are happening in our lives. But life can get so busy and so crazy. And it's hard to fit in all of the goals and the dreams and the focus and everything we want to work on. And now let's get that in your purse. Get that in your purse. If this is your first time ever listening to this portion of the show, this is where in this crazy, chaotic world, smart, ambitious women have tools in their purse that they can pull out. I usually share some sort of software tool or an app or something that really has been beneficial for me. I just finished reading Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes. And, you know, I thought I've seen this book a lot in Amazon and different bookstores and really thought I had to know every single episode of Grey's Anatomy and all of her shows. And I never watched Grey's. I know there's women that just live for that show. And that never was for me. And so I never picked it up. And a friend of mine, actually not a woman, he told me, Amy, you need to read this book. I really think you would enjoy it. That's all he said. And I read it and I just consumed it. And it's not about the characters in the show. And it's not about what's happening in Hollywood. Now that clearly that's part of her life. And so she explains some of that. But what I love about it, she had found that she had hold herself up, protected herself in her own little walls. And the parallels that connect to us is so incredible. Here's just one little quote to give you some perspective. She's talking about sometimes people give you a compliment and you're so busy taking care of the next seven things that have to be done. You don't even think about it. You just blow it off. And here's the quote. When you negate someone's compliment, you are telling them they are wrong. You're telling them they wasted their time. You are questioning their taste and judgment. And as I thought about that, it's it's sometimes we do that. When someone says, oh my gosh, you did a great job on that project. Oh, well, it really wasn't me. Oh, I just, you know, there was a lot of people involved, blah, 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 blah. And there's one thing to be humble. There's another thing to just blow off a compliment. Sometimes I'll see someone and say, wow, you look really pretty. And and the person will just be... (sighs) Thanks. It was a really rough morning. And it's kind of funny how we are so busy moving forward and progressing that we forget to take time and acknowledge and appreciate ourselves. So a powerful, powerful book. If you are not a reader, I would highly recommend getting the Audible version. And I've got a discount code in the show notes, you can click on that and go ahead and get your first, your copy. Listen to it in the car as you are driving the kids or the kids are taking a nap or you're doing the dishes. A great way to process really some powerful lessons. So Shonda Rhimes, Year of Yes, get that in your purse. Speak the lingo. All right, on Speak the Lingo, this is the part of the show where we take one term or one point 
of leadership and being a strong woman and fulfilling your potential and break it down and really understand the concept. Today's term is ambitious. And for so many of us, that is a hard word to say. Wow. Or we use that term to criticize and judge someone harshly. They're rude. They're confrontational. They're really in your face. Oh, that's an ambitious woman. And that is completely wrong. And it's so unfair. You are driven. You are focused. You want success in your life. You want the best for your family and your loved ones. You want to give to the world. There is nothing wrong with that. And it is okay to say, I'm ambitious. So looking up this term, I I read it and I got more excited and I would get chills and I was just like, oh my word, we are all so ambitious. Here's the first definition we need to look at. Ambitious means having ambition, eagerly desirous of achieving or obtaining success, power, wealth, a specific goal, and so on and so forth. Or another definition that really stands out is requiring exceptional effort ability, and so forth. That is something that I think makes us stand out. As smart, ambitious women, we expect quality. We expect others to do their best. We expect that because we are giving our best to the world, that others will try and attempt to do so. And if they try and they don't make the mark and they fall short, clearly we are compassionate and loving and we will help them achieve. But internally, we understand and know that people rise to your expectations. If you do not set an expectation that you will get up and you will do something to contribute to the betterment of society, then we have these children and we have families and we have grown adults who don't grow up and are struggling. And it is completely unfair for us to hold ourselves back and not be able to use the term, I am an ambitious woman, because we're afraid we're going to make people feel bad. Or we're afraid we're going to come across as like the office bull that is so pigheaded and confrontational and tries to fight every single person she sees. That's fear. And that's insecurity. That's not what ambition is. Having ambition is that inner drive, is that desire, is that focus, that passion to achieve and do better. Today's term, ambitious. I titled this, Being a Smart, Ambitious Woman is Tough. We are too tough on ourselves. We expect more from ourselves than is necessary. Our striving for excellence can actually hold us back. We need a reminder. We need perspective. We need to understand that while we're fighting that internal battle of pushing to excel and allowing ourselves to be content at that moment. And that's why I've written The Smart, Ambitious Woman's Manifesto. Now, if you want your own copy to print out or you want to save it with all your PDFs or you just want to take a screenshot and save it on your phone, you can click on the link in the show notes and it'll take you there and it'll give you the direct printout. And so this is my gift to you, the Smart Ambitious Woman's Manifesto. I am a smart, ambitious woman. I am no longer afraid to say I am ambitious out loud. I know why I do this. My future and the future of those I love depends on what I do today. My past has given me the experience to listen inside and the trust to know which risks are necessary to succeed. I do excellent work and share that with the world. I earn an incredible income and use it wisely. My wealth provides for myself and allows me to bestow on others in marvelous ways. I no longer wait for someone else to give me permission to succeed. I have my own permission. 
I work with my hands and my heart. My work is personal and business. It is part of me. My talents lead me to succeed. I respect voices of counsel around me while trusting my inner voice to know when my decision is right. My light guides me through each challenge. My loved ones need me in a way only I can fulfill. I understand the enormous value of these precious relationships. How I balance family and work changes. But I know it's the right decision for each situation in each timely season. I appreciate those times I make mistakes. I fail forward. Mistakes pull me closer to achieving my dream faster. Being me, I am a natural problem solver. I happily help others, but do not take their problems on for me to fix. I am kind, knowledgeable, energetic, and determined to achieve my lofty aspirations. I choose to shine. I believe in the solidarity of women. My enthusiasm, zest, and power inspires others to do something to improve themselves. I reach out and encourage them. I am on my personal path to succeed. My thoughts are the gas running my engine. So I speak to myself kindly. I am my greatest supporter. I offer myself encouragement throughout the day. Creativity is the key to my success. Action brings me momentum. Prosperity is mine today. I support other women hurtling the work-family balance as best she can. But rather than criticize, I applaud her. I see her, smile, and acknowledge all she does. I use my resources to elevate other women like me to succeed. For I know when you strengthen a smart, ambitious woman's life, you influence not only her, but the lives of the many people who lean on her, seek her guidance, and depend upon her continuous efforts. No one can do this for me. I create my own financial security. That's why I take risks daily. I succeed today because I serve. I am a strong, ambitious woman. The entire purpose of this episode is summarized in this quote by Salvador Dali. Intelligence without ambition is a bird without wings. You are a very smart woman. You know that you have potential. The challenge is not to be like everyone expects you. The challenge is to listen to your voice inside and allow yourself to shine. That's the entire purpose of understanding who you are as a smart, ambitious woman. Another point, a lot of times this comes down to creating a business or finding a way to make money, earn additional income to bless and enhance your life and bestow those gifts upon other people. The goal here, it's not about making more money. It's about finding a way to live life on your terms and create the best life for yourself to live your enriched life. I'm so grateful to have you as part of this show. I'm so grateful for the time you spent with me. I believe in my heart. You're a star. Shine on.